hi welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would do a nail desk tour so I'm just going to show you around my desk and what's inside my drawers I love watching these types of videos I love seeing what you know knows seeing what people have got inside their drawers might give you some um, inspiration for storage although I'm not the best at organizing I'm always trying to look for better ideas um, but if you've got any comments um, how you think I can better organize then comment down below if there are any nice comments um, but yeah I thought I would show you because I like to watch these types of videos so I thought you might like to too so without further ado I'll turn you around and I'll show you what's inside my nail desk so this is from my angle from where I'm sat so I'll just show you the top of my desk first so on my desk I used to have towels but since the whole Covid um, I've got one of these plastic a tablecloth so I can wipe them down uh, this is from Amazon it's quite big so it's folded um, it's great because you can wipe it only thing is I've spilt cleanser and things like that and this is what it's done to it like on my side of the desk um, so if you spill some sort of solution that's what it does um, but I, I can have that covered with a bit of couch roll um, but I can eventually, if it overspills too far, I will unfold it to a better looking area. So this is a, a petite nail stand for the clients to rest their arms on. I used to have like an Ikea sort of stand, but I upgraded to this. Underneath, I've just got my ink lamp. It's quite an old lamp now. I have got a new one, but I'll replace that when I need to. So the clients will rest their hands and then they can just put their hand underneath to cure so no more stretching so I just have the one lamp then I use a daylight slim daylight lamp so I can um, you know put that up and down when I'm taking pictures and that is attached to my desk there so then what I've got on the desk this is a recent thing here so this is just all my nail pops, all my nail colours. Um, so it's on one of these jewellery stands. I've just got some nail designs there at the bottom. But I've got a lot of colours. So I've organised them. Like there were my pink glitters. They're my pinks. They're my nudes. And so forth. I mean if you want me to go through all my colours, you know, we can but at another time otherwise we'll be here all day then just down here beside me I've just got like a little pot I just have my handy tools that I use all the time obviously these are cleaned in between clients my cuticle nippers my silicone tool just a sharpie because now I write clients names on their pouches for their nail files you know um, nippers that's my glitter brush there's some toe tools toenail tools spatula so just bits in there this is just another stand i've got like my most popular glitter that i put on top of a lot of colors which is this cameron glitter i've had this for ages so i just have that handy small nail clippers this is just a file that i use to take off the sharp edges off new files when i'm putting them on clients i've just got some nail pops here that i did when I went on my Selena riding class, oh, got some scissors, my plush brush, nail wipes, and dropped just down there was my nail tip cutters, and then I've got my barbicide jar just down here in this one of these pink jars because I had a gap. So that's just my little nail desk bin when I'm working at the time just throwing like the excess tissues in here's some alcohol spray some nail disinfectant spray um, my hand cream because I always finish the hand cream I've got a super shine for when I finish and my acetone and they're just all in this little pink pot down the side so then this here is my little wheel this is like my third one now because I keep breaking them because things fall off my shelf when it's windy or they just disintegrate so on the top I have all these bottles here 
these are all different types of top coats hard top coats builder top coats blooming top coats foil top coats cuticle remover bonder then in here brush on resin i've got my nail glue i've got other sort of top coats that okay oh that's a hard gel that came in kits just excess top coats so they're all sort of top coats and then up here is my nail dehydrator nail cleanser in here is just um that's empty at the moment but it had some remover but it did keep leaking so i've left that empty but here's just some like excess um, silicone tools, um, like a dust brush, some more spatulas, tweezers, more cuticle nippers, just some excess tools. In this um, bottom one are just some nail brush, another little excess damp dappen dish, nail buffer, some other buffers in there. Nail brush, another dappen dish, a glitter uh, collect palette, then here I have my um, new top coats that I haven't used yet but they're just ready. Cuticle oil, here's just um, my little mini monomer that I use on my desk. And, and then these are just like top coats and all things like that that are new. So when I need to replace at the top I'll just see if I've got my stock down the bottom. Um, no varnish remover. And then you can see more new bottles down the bottom. Oh, and my Bond Aid. So on problem clients, I use Bond Aid. So that is the desk. And I just find rather than keeping this in the desk, this just works well for me. So if I'm looking for a particular type of base coat um, or top coat, depending on the client I'm doing, I'll just wheel around because I have glitter top coats, normal top coats. You know, uh, this is a fortify strengthening gel you know but I don't always use builder gel on people I might use that one instead um, I've got like my no wipe top coats so yeah I just I can just wheel this round and that's how I work so moving along my right hand side um, so this is where the these were the original drawers because I've added some new drawers on in this drawer at the moment it's it's got some empty bits because I've moved my nail tips onto that jewellery stand but all my nail tips used to be in here so I've got some excess nail tips in the back more poppet sticks there here's um, some pot, um, swatches of gels that I don't really use and then these are swatches of all my chromes I didn't really want to put those on display because it's on black sticks so wouldn't go with the rest some more excess bits there here's my builder gel and top another top coat no white top coat that i might use at the time uh, my nail palette if i'm going to use that this i just keep handy at the moment because i was doing a lot of press on nails so they're just the wipes that i include in the kit my nail um, tabs and the cuticle sticks that they get so i just kept that handy at the top so that's in there in this drawer um, I mean I do have a whole bag of glitters but these are just some other random ones so I've got some glitters in there and these are on the Ikea spice racks just some random poly gel because I was using that recently I have my fiberglass in here because I use that sometimes on split nails I've got my dried flowers, some shell that I recently got all in there just because I've run out of room in my other drawer um, a nail palette and some other bags of loose glitter that I'm trying to work out where I want to put them and my neon nail pigments aren't they beautiful and then these are sample um, acrylic pots that I got I haven't used them yet you know these are like that's a random chrome I think that I must have got of Aliexpress just thrown in there and that's in that drawer the next drawer moving along 
so this one can be a bit of a hot mess so in here these are my got loads of Schwarzky crystals in here um, and I need to organize these into another little container but these are genuine Schwarzky crystals um, so I want to organize those into a pot I just never got around to really doing it but they're all in this bag in the back there they're just excess buffers there is just a tub full of nail files um, so if I need a new nail file I'll go in there in here a um, crystal katana just some brushes I don't know what they're for and then more this is for um, perfect dip but I don't really use it but they're more like of my builder top coats, uh, builder gels, sorry, builder in a bottle because I use those. So they're all my new ones, as well as some like builder gels that I've got in other brands that I don't really use, but I sort of just keep them. You know, they're things that come in kits, and then um, you know, like new nail glues, new resin things like that in here um, this is this is um, full of all my crystals and things like that so this one is still I've got room to grow it's just some random little hex shapes and then I've tried to organize them by sort of what's in in them so these are like you know gold and silver shapes there's all little gems here you can see it's all neon and then all these these aren't genuine um, Schwarzkies, these are just gems off AliExpress. So I've got loads of these sort of things and excess wheels and little holographic shapes and all bits like that. So that's what's in this drawer. I want some crystal pixies and my um, gel. Where is it? Miss You Jewelry Gel that's in here as well so this next drawer a uh, bit of a mess um, but basically that's my charger for my nail drill in here I can't get it out any further these are just my folders of my nail decals this is a, um, a plate a stamping plate holder I don't even use it that's my lint roller for my stamping some excess product I bought at a show don't even use it and they're all my stamping gels um, as well as some random cuticle oils you know stampers in there as well as I've just got my ink um, x -Lac. I use these more for personal use they're in there as well and then this is a bag full it's a special bag um, designed specially to hold a stamping plates so that's what's in there all my stamping plates are in this one bag so that's in there move that out of the way and down here it's just some excess um, storage boxes that I haven't used yet nail wipes and some cuticle oils and that's all that's in there so now moving on to the left drawer in here so in here I have my nail drill, um, my tip holders, that's just my remote for my aircon, just all my magnets, some special top coats, uh, my black gel, which you'd use a lot, some foil, and then uh, these are some of my cat eye gels, and then these are all my, these are inks, Born Pretty inks, I got these from... Uh, AliExpress so they was uh, they were on my AliExpress haul 
as well as the as well as the ink pens so they're in there and I've also got my stick it actually in here as well so I'm going to use my stick it gel so that's in this top drawer in this drawer these are all my gels so in here these are my ink gels um, going back into here as then my shellac's there but to get to the back colours I have to that's why I put them in these boxes I have to lift that out and then drag this forward just trying to find how to utilise these drawers well and this one more gels so these are my premier gels uh, I've got some mag more magpie gels um, madam glam gels and that's just some excess sort of gels, gelish ones that I don't really use back there in here um, so I've just got a box of disposable aprons, gloves, masks um, nail file replacement covers they're just my nail tips for when I remove gel polish and in here I've got my light elegance gels so when I did my light elegance course with Selena Ryden, I bought loads of gels. Um, so these are in here, so there's some random bits like that. So that's in this drawer. And then the final drawer, it's just a drawer full of boxes of nail tips. And then again, another random basket. That's I think some stamping polishes, some buffers, little bits for nail file, uh, electric nail file, some draw dividers but they didn't really work for me and a silicone mat. So yep yeah, that's my desk basically, um, hope I didn't run through it too quickly um, but then again I didn't want this video to be super long and boring uh, but if there's anything you'd like to see in more detail uh, that you've spotted inside my drawers uh, then let me know and I'll do a more detailed video of that particular thing you know it might seem like a bit of a mess or you know how would you know what's where but I know where everything is when I need something I know what drawer it's in uh, so it works for me um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you haven't already hit the like hit the subscribe button and I will see you with a video soon thanks for watching bye